Caitlin Clark got left off the U.S. Olympic team, and obviously that drew the ire of many of her fans, and people were not exactly, you know, happy about it. They were like, Team USA, they have messed up and growing the game. I'm no longer watching the Olympics. And they didn't really take into account that that's not the Olympic team's charge. That's the WNBA's charge is to grow the game. The Olympic team is to put the best team together. And they did not do that because the actual snub was not Caitlin Clark. It is Arike Ogunwale because number one, she's a better player. She's been in the league for six years already. And she has been an absolute dog since college. Now, you're probably, if you weren't a big WNBA fan, in recent memory, the thing that you probably remember the most about women's college basketball in is Arike Ogunwale. Let's flash back. Do you remember Notre Dame? They were playing in the semifinals of the women's final four, and she hits the game winner, clack it, and then came right back in the finals in the championship game and did it again. And everybody was like, yo, she's like Kobe. Well, that's Arike Ogunwale. So now your memory is refreshed, right? You're like, oh my God, I do remember that. Of course you do. And do you know what she did in the WNBA All-Star game? Because in case you didn't watch, the WNBA, they split their all-star team this year. They did Team USA, because you had the women that are going to the Olympics, like Sabrina Ionescu, Diana Taurasi, Aja Wilson, Brianna Stewart, uh, Jewel Loy, that whole crew, right? And they were playing against the WNBA all-stars, which included Angel Reese, Caitlin Clark, Arika Ogunwale, and crew, the WNBA superstars, the WNBA all-star team, even though that the players on Team USA would have been on the all-star team for the vast majority, they ended up beating Team USA. And do you know who they were led by? Arike Ogunwale. 32 points in the second half. She was an absolute menace. They could not guard her. And the, be the highest compliment that you can get from your players is respect. And she earned the respect and has been because she's been a 20 point a game person in the WNBA since she's been in there. Six years, 20 points a game. And she finished with 34. Absolute incredible. And Caitlin Clark gave her a praise. I'm going to let you hear what Caitlin Clark said. You literally cannot guard it. And like I said on the broadcast, like I... In my eyes, she's the best one-on-one -on -one player in this league. Like, she just has that skill. Like, she can get whatever shot whenever she wants it. Um, that's how good she is with the ball. So, um, it was fun to watch. Like, that's exciting for me. Like, I haven't always been on that side of it where, you know, you have a teammate that goes kind of crazy like that. So, um, for me, like, on the bench, like, they tried to sub me in for her. I'm like, no, I'm good. I'm going to stay over here on the bench. Let her do her thing. So, why on earth would you not have the best one-on-one -on -one player on the Olympic team? But then you might say, George, she pulled her name out of consideration. Yeah, because she was getting left off the team. And she was like, what, what the hell am I doing here? What more do you want from me? And she was 100% right. Now, what did Caitlin Clark do in the game? Four points, 10 assists. She had a solid game. She didn't shoot the ball very well. 0 for 7 from 3. Will she be on the Olympic team next time? Yeah, because she's clearly getting better. But, you know, such is life. She was not the real snub. Arika Ogunwale was.